Okay, so here is my 100 hour review for the Z545R lawn mow John Deere mower. It has the 48 inch deck on it. Uh, we just hit 100 hours on it about four hours ago. So I'm going to go through and give my honest opinion and non-biased opinion of about all the things that I like about it and the things that I don't like about it. So, starting off, let's do a, let's do a positive to start it off. Uh, I love having this set up here. Having everything super simple. You don't have any choke or anything like that. So it's super simple. You just turn the key literally and you just turn it over. It's got a very nice, nice display on it. Like we've hit 104 hours on it. It tells you everything you need. Um, it's got three modes. It's got your minimum, and then it's got your cutting, two cutting speeds. Uh, we always run it on max. Um, you just feel like it cuts better when it's running at a higher RPM versus this. I noticed on this mode, I mean, if you're just doing normal cutting and you have time, that's fine. Uh, if you're trying to cut anything decent depth, uh, you want to have this, have it ran on that. Um, uh, something that I don't like about it uh, is this. This whole setup, not huge fan of it. I mean, it is what it is but you always keep your eye on this. If you're going through anything that's bumpy, keep your eye on this. So this tells you whether or not your deck is raised up or if it's down. So sit on here and you push it down and release. And that shows that you are, have the deck lowered down to the depth that you have it at. Um, you kick, raise it up and it pops that up and that tells you that it is up. So when you're going over bumpy ground, I'm not sure if it's just something we're doing or if it's something with the mower. Um, I've noticed every now and then that likes to pop up if you're going over something that's uh, bumpy and that lifts, maybe lifts the deck up a little bit. I never run my foot on that, so, and I'll notice every now and then that that'll pop up. So really, not a huge fan of that. Um, not sure if they could do anything else different on that. Um, our other zero turn that we have, I think it's a seven series, 60 inch deck. It's a lot older. Um, it has uh, the electric handle uh, deck raise on it, so, I like that because it's got a knob over here that you adjust your height versus having this little catch pin here. Having the actual height adjustment, well, you can actually, you can lock it into place and you can unlock it. So you can raise it up, lock it into place, and then when you want to have it lowered, you just unlock it. That to me is a lot better system. I get it, it costs a lot more and I don't think there's a whole lot of mowers out there unless you get into that top tier commercial grade John Deere that has that sort of electronic lift on it. I don't need that and this is fine. It's just this catch thing is just personally, I'm just not a, not a huge fan of it. But that's just my personal opinion. Uh, there could be a good reason for it. Um, let's see. This has the headlights on it. We've never really used them. Uh, when, when I've turned them on, I didn't really notice them a whole lot, but I've never had them on in the pitch dark. So maybe it is good enough to mow uh, when it's dark out and it just shines just enough, but it's got the LED light there and the same on that, this side. And then it's got two on the front. Uh, we got this, this mower from Acres in Auburn. They, they did great working with us on everything. We appreciate appreciate all the work that they went through. They We ordered it and it was kind of that time when things were hard to get, but they were able to get one pushed through and we appreciate that. 
Um, a complaint that I don't like about, and this is just because it's the deck size. Uh, you go up higher deck sizes, you don't you don't worry about that. But having, I mean, it, it is what it is. But this deck being just right, almost right in line with this tire, uh, it. I mean, it is what it is. It's it's inconvenient for for me, I guess, a little bit, but. I really shouldn't complain about it because, I mean, it is, it's just the deck size. Uh, you, when you try to get close to anything, uh, you run the risk of if you have anything pokey that you're mowing up against, you run the risk of <coughs> gouging your tire against stuff. And you have to get really close to anything. And like I said, it's, it's a deck size thing, so it's really nothing, no fault to the company. So... Uh, if if you are looking at one of these and you're doing a lot of mowing next to stuff, I would suggest getting bigger than a 48-inch deck just so you don't have to have the tire as close to what you're mowing up against. Uh, like I said, uh, we have a 60-inch deck, so I really wasn't used to it because you don't have to get very close on that. So... We had, I busted a tire probably at 20 hours. It gouged it so bad I couldn't do anything about it. So got a new tire, and of course, I was in a hurry one day and had a T-post sticking up out of the ground and caught that tire again. But like I said, no fault to them. My only recommendation is if you're, if you're mowing around a lot of stuff, get bigger than a 48-inch deck. We just do a lot of mowing where having that smaller deck size is good for us because it's got a shorter wheelbase and you don't have to worry about the deck blade uh, going gouging the ground. Like that's why we don't mow with our 60 inch deck some places. So um, we'll go through, I'll do a, we'll do a, a like now. What I like about it is, if I can get this up. I like having all of your service things, all your your service intervals that you need, and it just goes through and tells you exactly what you need to do, when you need to do it. You don't have to go to a book or anything for it, and it just simplifies everything. Uh, that is super nice. I always go through, once I hit like that, 20, 25 hours, 50 hours, 100 hours. I know it only does the 50 hours or yearly, uh, 100 hours, 200. Uh, I just, it's nice having that so you don't ever have to search for a book. So, um, oh, a thing that I do not like at all. Uh, now, th this doesn't, this doesn't matter a whole lot if you're not loading and unloading the mower a lot off of like a pickup but we unload off of a the back of our pickup a lot uh, we go into it we butt up to a bank but if you have much of an angle or a slow a drop down this will gouge into the ground pretty easily um it's just how far back this tire sets from back here and how low it sets and so it, it just it gouges a lot i don't know if that's something that can be changed through the years once they make more of them or if it really matters a whole lot to them but i i would say that was that's a, a thing that i don't really care for a whole lot and this came with a trailer hitch that just bolts on to this and it stuck out about that far. Uh, I took I took that off because it, I'm, like I said again, it just gouged into the ground for how low it set. Um, so complain about it. I just wish this didn't set so low, so far back behind this tire. Uh, but yeah, it's like I said, it is what it is. Um, most people it won't really matter a whole lot to so yeah that's i guess that's kind of my 100 hour review of it 
I love it. Uh, don't have any any plans to really trade this thing off ever, probably, because it just works so good for what we're doing and where we mow and the kind of terrain that we mow on. I mean, you can you can mow fast with this. I, it's it's great. The the high high speed setting on it. I mean, I, I haven't had any issues as long as you just keep the blade sharp on it. Which, I mean, those yeah, it's it's really nice. Uh, we don't ever use the the water spigot part, whatever you call that, to clean off the. You hook a hose up to it, and it cleans off the the bottom of the deck. Don't ever use it. Uh, probably should, but we go through. We just scrape the bottom of the deck every so often, and we get quite a bit of buildup on it. But it it still, I mean, it still cuts great. I've never had any issues with plugging or anything like that. We try to mow when it's dry. We don't mow when it's wet. But yeah, I, I mean, it's it's great machine. I mean, the pluses definitely outweigh the negatives on it. Uh, but one thing, if I was to buy another one, I would definitely go with a bigger deck, probably a 54, I think it's 54 inch deck is what they come off with. So, but yeah, that's my 100 hour review of the John Deere Z545R. So hopefully you guys enjoy it and can take something from it and yeah, thanks for watching.